News at noon. Good Monday afternoon happening right now. A manhunt underway for a 19 year old who escaped the Bridge City Center for Youth. The juvenile jail has had plenty of recent and critical problems. Remember last month, five inmates escaped. One of those escapees still has not been caught. This afternoon, WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian joins us live outside the facility. Aubrey, how did this latest escape happen today? Well, investigators say that the teen attacked a female guard that actually happened yesterday at around 3 a.m. After that, the teen was able to escape the facility. So take a look. I want to walk you through the latest details that we are learning about this this latest escape right here in Bridge City. So the guard actually had to be taken to the hospital. The jail is not releasing the name or picture of that 19 year old who did escape. People who live out here, they say they're scared. Just last month, five teens escaped. That's after they busted out of a dorm. Investigators say they stole a truck and crashed it in Opelousas. One of the teens from last month this guy right here, Curtis Tossin, still has not been caught. Neighbors out here say this facility, it is out of control. Our children will not be scared to go to school in the morning time. I will not be afraid to get in my car and say, oh, my God, I can't go to work. Oh, my God, they can't go to, all the people can't go to the hospital because they are afraid. We're not going to stay in our house no longer. We're going to stay. We're going to do something about this situation, and it starts today. I'm tired. So you can hear right there, a lot of people frustrated and angry with this. If you have any information on those two teens, call police. Reporting live, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. Aubrey, thank you very much. Now this afternoon, the forecast.